In this example, we're asked to find the square root of each of the following numbers and round to two decimal places if needed. Indicate those that are perfect squares and explain why. So I brought the calculator image up so that you can see on your calculator you will often have this square root key which will look like what I'm pointing to here on the screen. To access that on my calculator I need to click the second function key and then I'm going to type in 1, 6, 9 and I'm going to hit enter. That's going to give me my value. So the square root of 169 is 13 and that means that the square root of 169, and I should make that little piece there more obvious, the square root of 169 is a perfect square. And the reason for that is that its square root is a whole number. So square root of 169 is a perfect square because square root of 169 is a whole number. So that's how we determine if we have a perfect square. So let's clear this and see what we have for the square root of 31. And then I press enter. And if I want to round that, I would round that to two decimal places, 5.57. So the square root of 31 is not a perfect square. And let's see about the square root of 9. We could probably figure that one out in our head, but let's use our calculator anyway. Square root of 9 equals 3. And the square root of 9 then is a perfect square. And the reason is because square root of 9 is a whole number.